It's been in development for a decade. It uses aerospace technology, and that's no joke. This can quite easily take 50,000 pounds. Julian Sharp is an aerospace engineer, and after watching the horrors of the Indian Ocean tsunami in 2004, a tsunami that claimed nearly a quarter million lives, he began designing a way to at least increase the odds of surviving one. It's a system that allows you to evacuate immediately um, to a safe space, uh, and then in that case, ride the uh, tsunami event out. It was these pictures taken in Japan that really showed what the capsule is designed for. Yes, people drown in tsunamis, but a big threat is being crushed to death in a swirl of floating debris. Three, two, one. This is an example of a drop test on the steel bolt. It didn't produce a, a penetration. Uh, the capsule was able to resist that. And there's been a lot of interest, especially in Japan. Nature is always testing us human beings. It even survived a drop over Palouse Falls. My 50-year career in doing tsunami research is that every time we discover something new, the hazard is worse than we thought. Survival Capsule is working with Eddie Bernard, one of the world's top tsunami scientists. With nearly 16,000 dead and still missing in the 2011 Japanese tsunami. For every injured person, there were three dead people. So how long does it take to get into a survival capsule? Well, I've got a stopwatch here. Let's go. So get one leg in. Bring the other leg up. Swing the door into position. Close it up, get in my seat, and that is 26 seconds, and I'm pretty clumsy. All right, let me see if I can do this. Jeannie Johnson purchased one of only two sold so far in the U.S. Good girl. She lives in Washington's low-lying Long Beach Peninsula, where a drive to safety may prove impractical, and there are no evacuation towers yet. I'll take the marine key from inside the house, open the door, get in, get Trixie in, and anybody else that can fit, frankly, um, and then I'll have to lock the door, and I'll write it out. The company is now beginning to work with manufacturers to get them mass produced, and a two-person capsule is only just one option. This is the 10-person capsule, and um, it's roughly eight feet in diameter. It has uh, uh, two, two entry points. From research in Japan, the people inside would sit facing each other. Uh, we have a 16-person capsule um, on the books as well. That is fundamentally um, for schools. Depending on the school, that could be a lot of capsules, especially for schools where that may be the only option. So vertical evacuation towers like we have in Washington State or capsules, it's not an either or choice. We're going to need multiple options to protect people, save their lives. Right now, a capsule costs around $15,000. Once mass production begins, Sharp expects that price tag will drop dramatically, as those of us living in vulnerable places weigh our options, not knowing when the next tsunami may roll in.